We were honored to be chosen by Lily Vincennes, the creator of these films, the producer, the director of these films. She chose us to bring together all of her archive, some 10,000 items, including these films, and donate them to the Library of Congress. And that's what we did. They now belong to the American people, thanks to the generosity of Lily Vincennes. And where is she now? Lily Vincennes is still with us, but she's not well enough to do interviews like this, so I'm honored to pitch hit for her. And you brought along a prop. For those of us old enough to remember, this is an <laughs> RCA 16 millimeter projector. Millennials may say, what is that? Well, millennials may think it's a weird science fair project of some kind, but it's really a 16 millimeter vintage RCA projector that belonged to Lily. And Lily would use this projector to show the two films you're going to show today. And she would show the films to groups and individuals and uh, independent film festivals. And she would charge $15 a rental. But the importance of this, this projector as a symbol is the fact that it shows what a community operation this whole thing was. There was no CNN, there was no cable television. There were no documentary film producers. There were no friendly networks. There was nothing. There was no Oprah or Anderson or anybody. Uh, Lily just said, okay, we're gonna make a movie. So she borrowed a 16 millimeter film camera. She took a film class and she hit the streets and uh, did these two films. The first one you'll see is uh, at Independence Hall in Philadelphia in 1968. And the second one is the first ever Pride Parade in New York. Um, no networks to help, no one there. Lily shot them, edited them, put them together. And this projector was her distribution system. No company would distribute these films.